Hey everyone, I'm Libby. I'm Joey. And we're here with some pro tips on memorization. Solid memorization is really important when you're in a show because it's the first step before the fun can really happen. Before you can build your character, learn your blocking and your choreography, you have to know what you're saying. It might feel a little bit like the boring homework part of building a show, but it's just a fact that we all need to get it done. Nobody can do it for you. It's really your responsibility as part of the cast to get those lines down. It will make the rehearsal process much smoother, easier, and more fun for everyone involved. We've come up with eight tips to help with memorization. The first is to understand what you're saying. Sometimes you might have some words in your dialogue or lyrics and you're not too sure what they mean. Make sure to look them up or ask someone for a definition. Once you've done this, you can put your dialogue into your own words and practice speaking that aloud. This will really help with improvisation if you forget your line. We're more likely to remember things that we're actually interested in and that we really understand. After you're done this step, think about the five W's. Who are you? What are you? Why are you there? Where are you? And when are you there? Every single character comes on stage and has a goal. If you think about that goal as you're entering the stage, it's more likely that you're going to remember your line and it will definitely help if things go wrong. Engage your visual memory. Have you ever met a group of people at once and tried to picture something to help you remember their name? Like when I first met Joey, I pictured a baby kangaroo, a Joey, and I never forgot his name again. Picturing something in your head can help you, especially with those words or phrases that you're struggling with. Even if it's a ridiculous connection, it can help you to get it down. Read. Read your lines and cues both in your head and out loud. Including your cues is going to help you to know the context of what you're saying and to also know what you're listening for. Right. Depending on what kind of learner you are, you might find it helpful to write your lines over and over. I know this has always been a lifesaver for me. And again, this might be something you only do for those phrases that you're struggling with. Now it's time to move that script away. You've done a lot of work so far, so now put that paper away and try to say your lines out loud. Only take a peek if you absolutely need to. And repeat this with every single line until you've got them down. Work with a partner. Now you can grab a family member or friend. They can hold your script, give you your cues, and you say the lines. The nice thing is they can let you know what you're missing as you're working through that process. Once you've got that down, they can even test you by giving you your cues out of order. They can also say the cue lines in their own words. There's a good chance that your cue line is going to sound different from time to time. So it's a good idea to practice responding to the idea of what's being said rather than just exactly what was written in the script. Volume and expression. Now that you've got your lines down, it's time to practice, practice, practice. Make sure that you practice projecting your voice. Find a large room in your house or go to the backyard or the schoolyard and really practice getting your voice out there. This is also the time to go back to step one and think a little bit more about the five W's. You want to speak with the appropriate expression for the way that your character's thinking or feeling. It's really important that you practice delivering your lines the way that you want to when you're on stage. So if you practice like a uh, robot, it's very likely that you might do that when it comes showtime. The show must go on. Now you've got your lines down, you have to be strict with yourself. If you forget, keep going. You've done your homework, you understand what your character's talking about, you've said the lines in your own words, so if you stumble, you can improvise. It's way more important to keep going than it is to say exactly what was written in your script. Try not to get in the bad habits of peeking at your script or asking for the first word of your line or saying um or showing on your face that you forget. This is a skill that really takes practice and we don't expect it to happen right away. In the early days of a rehearsal process with us, we're always there to help you with your lines, but as we get closer to showtime and you progress, it's really your responsibility to keep moving forward even if you stumble without showing the audience that you're struggling. Well friends, those are our eight tips. Now we know that people learn differently, so you might find some of these tips to be very helpful and others maybe not so much but we really encourage you to give each and every one of them a try so you can develop your own method of memorization. Because memorization is not just about being on stage, you're gonna find it at school and into adulthood. 
So we really hope that you found this video helpful. That's it from us. Bye. Bye. We've come up with eight tips to help with improvisation. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> <coughs> read. Make sure that you read both your lines and your cubicle. <laughs> sure to practice projecting 